Hey man, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today I will be showing you how to do product photography with basically no equipment. And my good friend, Editor Gabi. Yeah, I'm gonna edit them. Show you how to do it. See you then. So let's just get started. First of all, let me drop this and take the tripod. <laughs> Because you see, for our first picture, we will need this, but not as a tripod. You, you see, but first, let me get all we need for this picture. So basically, on my Instagram page, I was challenged to make a TV remote controller look cool. And to do that, I will need a mirror, an apple, an umbrella, and Editor Gabby's t-shirt. Man, what the f Okay, now I need to set up this horrible mess and make it look like a studio. Hello there! And for today's sponsor, we have the subscribe button. Did you know that if you press the subscribe button and the ring bell button, you could for free get notification on every new video and be always on top of your photography travel game? For the whole month of April, we'll have another huge offer which will allow you to decide if you like or don't like the video. We call that the like button. This whole new feature allows you to give feedback to your favorite creator. Once again, that's for free. So join today, press the subscribe button. Ah, mi le idee che mi vengono ogni tanto. Letali, letali. That's it, I'm done! So, let me walk you through this, <laughs> this amazingly beautiful um, studio, studio setup rig sort of thing. Anyways, my brain process here was that I wanted to have a completely yellow background and well, since clearly I don't have any yellow background, I opted for the next best option, which was to use Editor Gabby's t-shirt and a mirror in order to I can show you to so sort of fill the frame with a completely yellow background and well and I'm gonna be shooting with this 85 millimeters 1.8 right here for the Sony but bear with me because I'm going to reenact this with my old Pentax and a 10 millimeters so use a bit your imagination but um, this is pretty much the setup. Also, I forgot to mention that I am also using this super useful little aperture light to sort of cast another extra light for the Apple and for the remote controller. So yeah, let's get shooting. What you don't know is that he was doing some reenacting noises as well. Yeah. Alright, I'm done shooting and I think there's some sweet rows that Editor Gabby can use up and enhance with his magic. So I guess it's your turn to shine mate, go ahead. Alright, let's start editing these pictures, firing up the good old Photoshop. Why starting from Photoshop? Well, since this Gabby photo person was trying to do some focus stacking, I will have to unite three differently focused pictures. What's focus stacking? Well, basically I'm stacking three different pictures that have three different focal points in order to have my TV remote, in this case, completely on focus. I suppose it would be easier if this dude was just kind enough to document himself a little bit but well let's let's just try with what we have all right first of all i think we should copy this one layer here onto our main layer okay that's right then we should create a mask right here then it's brush time which means i am painting out everything which is not in focus in one picture but which is in focus in the previous layer something along those lines then i'll do the same for the third picture place it on top of these other two layers and open a mask paint out the out of focus parts 
Hopefully that should work, but let's see how it goes. That's that's gonna be tough. Okay, I tried to do my best with it and I honestly don't think it's the best focus stacking ever. But since no one decided to learn about it before trying to do it, then I suppose that's more than enough. Right now what we need to do is to download a quick PNG from here and open up Lightroom. Yes, I could use Camera Raw, it's basically the same as Lightroom, but I just don't like it. So, Alright, now that we are on Lightroom, all we need to do is just to crop this picture to a decent fashion. Then we also need to change these yellows. I want them to be a little bit on the orange side rather than now when they are a little bit on the green side of the yellow spectrum. It's just going to be some quick tweaking. The exposure is already pretty good. So let's see what's the final result. So I was thinking, why stop at one picture? Yeah, I was challenged for the remote controller, but why should I stop? I mean, anyways, if I want to post that picture, uh, I will have to do a triplet because if you don't know, uh, when I'm posting on my Instagram page, Gabriele Cigna, I usually post in triplets, three pictures that have one common theme. So it's only fair if I take two more. And man, this yellow explosion of color was so cool. Why don't we do that again with the other two primary colors? All right. Although I was still going for a product photography picture, this time around I wanted to give it a different look. I wanted my products to be suspended, to look like they were flying in the air. And therefore I needed a rig that would allow me to do that. And that's pretty much what you're seeing now. So as you can see, this is my second rig and once again it's, <laughs> it's very professional. Well, it works, so I'm happy with that. Um, I'm shooting again with the 85 and I'm telling you for the last time, <laughs> I will, I will be shooting with the 85 for the old triplet, so remember that. And I wanted to keep some distance between the product that I'm shooting, which in this case is a uh, Joby Gorilla Pod head mount, uh, and the background. Because with the 85 I could have this sharp and the background blurry, which to me is perfect because this background, I don't know if the camera picks it up, it's a bit ragged in a way, so um, I, I don't want this detail to, to come up in the picture. What I'm gonna do is to shoot one object, uh, trying different, maybe trying different knots, and to see how the, the product looks best with which knot and at which height. And I'm going to take this down and repeat with some other objects, such as a weird flower and my microphone as well, because that's red, but I cannot show you now because it's used. So yeah, that's that. Uh, I'll take some pics and I guess it's time for Editor Gabby to show you how I edited them. Oh, finally, Jesus. Oof. All right, editing the second picture and we are again on Photoshop. We have four pics now. One, which would be our background, is this red wall but out of focus. Then we have three other objects here. We have my microphone, we have the Joby tripod head, and we have this weird flower, but honestly, I don't really feel it. I, I don't think I will use this flower. I, I think it will just ruin the balance and, and everything, so I, I, I'd rather not, not do it. Yeah, no, I don't think I'll do it. What we are gonna do now, it's super simple, but if you want to do it properly, it's going to be super tedious. We are about to go on the pen tool and create a path around this whole thing here. To do that properly, we have to zoom in and to be as precise as possible. It's gonna take a while, so yeah. Once we have our path closed, we can right click, make selection, Control C, and Ctrl V in order to copy and paste it onto the background. For now, we'll just leave it here. Now we have to do the same process for the microphone. Now what we need to do is to remove the white wire parts. In order to do that, 
uh, since it's very tiny parts, I'm just going to use the healing tool right here at a very tiny size, okay? And try to brush it until it does look okay. Once that part is done, we just need to compose this shot, fire it in Lightroom once again, do some minor tweaks, maybe just a little extra contrast, and we're pretty much done. Let's see the final result. All right, now we have our yellow picture, we have our red picture, we miss our blue picture and we're about to take it, but I'm sure you will ask me. Gabi, but where, where's the blue background? Well, we'll get to that later. First, let me show you this rig and why this rig is. So first of all, we have this lighting setup, sort of, with my uh, little aperture MC and a uh, front light that will allow me to create a sort of side light. I, I know it's it's a bit, it's okay, better. Uh, a side light on this part of the spray, glass spray thing, this thing, anyways. And I will also have a light right here. From the background, doing a sort of halo on the background. And that will come from, of course, this super bright window. What about the background? Well, you see I have my fake camera here, pointed there, and with the shutter set up on a 10 seconds timer. You wanna know why? Well, that's because I will be the background. Let me explain. Yeah, so basically what I'm doing is I'm pressing the shutter and I have 10 seconds to run here, hold up this beautiful ancient sleeping bag in order to have the blue background here, but also at an angle so the light can come and still do this sort of punchy halo effect. And yeah, it, let's say it took, it took a fair amount of time. But yeah, after a while I, I got some pretty alright results. So why don't we go see how Editor Gabby edits them? For this last picture, we are starting in Lightroom since there is no focus stacking or compositing to do. So what we are gonna do is just fix the exposure around and I'll leave you to it. Well, I believe we're done for this primary color product photography triplet video. We surely did enjoy to film this new type of format. I hope you did as well. So in case you did, consider liking, subscribing and sharing this video with your friends. It's been a pleasure and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.